hand to her and she takes it. And she nods at the camera. <laughs> And that's on the region too. Oh my god, okay, we're gonna do that again. <laughs> I would always I would always if somebody had like a, a scene in one of the pods and I wasn't in it, I had, I gotta get into somehow. I would I would get in the in the outside of the ship and float like I'm floating through <laughs> Oh yeah, but there were times too when everyone's really hot, and I don't know if you guys have been in a sound studio, but you can't have air conditioning on on a regular basis because it, the ambient, yeah, the so noise, sound, yeah. exactly. So we would be, uh, like, we would be because in leather. Of, because of all the lights in there too. It and, yeah. Up to, I mean, we had, we had days We had a tar on, roof we, too. we had days inside the command center, we had 100 degrees. Oh, um, easily. And we're in there just entering. Yeah. They'd have a big thermometer up there just above us that you'd see. Yeah. 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 So the poor guys would be working yeah. all day without a break. We would sometimes be But they had tank top and cut off shorts. Yeah. <laughs> we had leather outfits. outfits. Yeah. So they had a little break. Yeah, but still, it's, it's, it's still, it, it got hot. Yeah. So having fun, like, for little stories like that, it, it made it worthwhile. Yeah, we, had we, had, we had a question over here. I think. Thank you. Sorry, Mr. Jenner. No, oh, okay. This is actually for both of you. Um, with the fall season coming up, with TV shows coming out, um, new and returning mm -hmm. ones, I was just wondering, are there any favorite shows that both of you have that you really enjoy, that you're fans? Go ahead, she's ready. I love Heroes. Yeah. I do. Such a good show. I haven't seen season two yet, though. I rented all of season one and watched it consecutively, and I just love it. I love that show. So I'm looking forward to, to Heroes. And um, I want to start Dexter. Does anyone here Dexter's watch awesome. Dexter? Dexter's awesome. Yeah. Dexter's awesome. I think that's I, I've only seen show. the first episode, uh, first season, but I've seen, I, I bought it on DVD and I watched it all, and it's it's an amazing show. Yeah, that's it's my next really, Because it's like, this guy's a sick mother, but at the same time you're going, he's killing sicker guys. You <laughs> 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 kind of go, yeah. Before that, yeah. but, uh, you know, clean up the garbage out there. I am, I am a, I'm a big fan of Two and a Half Men. I think that show is hilarious. I love Boston Legal. I think the wedding yeah. that's phenomenal. I do, actually, I was just at a birthday party for Scotty Hamilton. Uh, he was a good friend of mine, and he's also friends with William Shatner. I've met William a few times, and so Bill and I sat in the couch and talked about the show. Because Bill D'Elia is the exact producer of that show, and Bill and I did a pilot together before Hercules, the year before Hercules, called. Uh, what did I do with them? Um, Condition critical. No, Aspen. Oh, Aspen. Yeah, yeah. It was sort of a, it was sort of a. Never cheers, found it. It was sort of a Matures meets um, uh, Dynasty as a soap opera, but it had, <laughs> seriously, it was a soap opera type thing, and but it was, it was, it was very funny. It was a funnier, funnier deal. And Bill was wonderful to work with, and the third one I like is House. I think it's a, oh, yeah. really, a really well done oh, show, a really mm -hmm. cleverly oh, written show, and. Um, uh, one of the one of the producers on that used to be the producer on Hercules before she moved to Xena, Liz Friedman. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. So it's it's uh, and I didn't know that. I mean, to me, when I started watching shows and I see the credits at the end, and I watch them because I know so many people in the industry, so I'm mm -hmm. curious, you know. But it, those three shows are the shows that I do I I take on a regular basis besides golf. Twenty four. Twenty four. Oh yeah. I PBI. I finally saw the first season of Twenty Four. Awesome. It's a great show. Yeah. Awesome. It is. I, I mean, love you know, it's just hard. It's just so many things out there, and that's I understand that. You know, it's just a lot of things out there, but it's it's um it's an expensive show to shoot. Yeah. You know, Brad yeah. Turner a lot. Brad, Brad Turner. Turner. Brad he, Turner did a lot of episodes he's of Hercules. He's a big shot producer. I golfed with him recently as well down in L.A. And I said, God, I said, put me on that show. And he said, I would love to. It'll never happen. Yeah. Oh, oh, stand up. Oh, keeper. Stand up. <laughs> You're taller than Keeper. <laughs> this isn't bullshit. Shoot. <laughs> he will not, he, he has a hard time booking actors that are taller. You can't be a trend? It will never happen. It will never happen. And, and Brad was very straightforward and honest about it. He just said, there you go. But seriously, he said it won't happen because, it, 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 that happens a lot though. There's a lot of actors that want to stand next to me because of my height. And that happens. Arnold Schwarzenegger. I was supposed to do a movie with him. I met with everybody. I got okay by everybody. Then I had to meet Arnold. Arnold says he's 6'3". Arnold's 5'11". 
Yeah, he's five eleven. He's not short, but he's not six three. And uh, the director said afterwards, "Ain't gonna happen." It's weird. It's, it's weird how you lose jobs in the time. Just as weird as how you get them. It's it's, it's insecurity is everybody else. Yeah, so there's not much you can do. So that's the way it is. Yes. Oh, just a we have time. Wait, wait, oh, wait, 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 you have someone there first. So we got a front here then. We're gonna give you the microphone. Five more minutes. Five more, five more minutes. Oh. And then lights out. Oh. Aww. <laughs> Think of lots of questions. <laughs> I have a question for each one of you. Um, That's okay, I respond to both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was that Sue Cloth or was it Robert? Which one? I had a few costumes. Um, most of the costumes were leather. Um, in the first season, it was all like pajamas. <laughs> so they were cotton, okay. cotton blend. Um, when I was gold trans, it was leather. And then there was like a, it was like a, it was a PVC, but it was like a, a pleather, like a fake leather. Oh, great breathability on that one. No, there was no breathability on that one. And so yeah, they were all, um, they were, and they were all handmade. Actually, all of trans's clothes were handmade, every single thing, except for the boots. It was really cool. Actually, the boots were handmade for um, Gold Trans initially. I went and had my feet fitted for like gladiator boots. I'll tell you, that was awesome. It was so much fun. <laughs> you go and you, you get them, you know, the guy comes in and he's like, put your feet down. And I'm like, okay, put my foot down. And he measures it and he makes a beautiful shoe. And it was a great experience. I've never had that before. Where was he from? Italian. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you had one, you had one okay, more. Kevin, I have a question for you. Um, I know Five, there was a lot That's of not working, you know. Okay. Well, um, season five, there was a lot more drinking. <laughs> season five, a lot more drinking? Because Steve Basic was on the show. So <laughs> we, put, we put more drinking in the episode. There was more drinking. Because we had that bar on Seafood that everybody sort of hung out at. Gordon was the bar. He was, he was our Sam Malone. And uh, it did become part of it. I love some of this. I love the scenes in there. I love there was a great scene. I just I just have a great visual when I when I when I see my mother. I think I see my mother. You know, I haven't seen her in 300 plus years, so it was kind of cool. But I mean, yeah, there was some there was some good scenes. We beat the hell out of that bar too. Yeah. All right, you got another one. I see that. It was muted again. Um, <laughs> speaking of boot fitting, would you mind quickly telling the story of your ear fitting? <laughs> If you don't mind. And slash tail thing? Okay. Yes. Sorry, I'll, I might take a couple minutes with this one, guys. I hope you, you are, bear with me. Okay, so I didn't know I was going to play an alien. I show up to the costume fitting, and um, Cynthia, who was the original costume designer, shows me this little sketch of different characters, and then there's this little purple thing with the tail, and, and uh, I'm like, oh, that's so cute. She goes, oh, that's you. I'm like, pardon me? And she goes, you're an alien. I'm like, did I know that? <laughs> I didn't know I was going to be an Sure, whatever, you know, I wasn't going to say no. I, I didn't realize that it would be a thousand seventy-two <coughs> hours later, who you knows. Um, anyways, so the guys who did our, our um, effects, they were called, a company called Flesh and Fantasy. And um, they called me, and actually they called my mom. They didn't call me, because they were a little nervous to ask me to show up for this fitting. So that they called my mother. <laughs> they said, can you tell your daughter? Laura, come on, play. <laughs> 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 they called my mom, and they're like, maybe, you, could you ask your daughter if she could come to a, a fitting and make sure that she brings clothes that she doesn't mind getting wrecked? And so my mom's like, well, dear, just make sure you pack things you don't mind get soiled. I'm like, get soiled? What kind of a fitting is this? <laughs> and she's like, oh, well, you know, your sister can come with you. I'm like, oh, good, okay. So Heather, my sister, came with me. We go to this hotel. This is so embarrassing. We go to this hotel, and I only had the name of the guy. I didn't have the room number or anything, so I have a duffel bag. And my little sister is, like, smaller than me and blonde, and these two blondes walk up to the front desk and say, Hi, we're here to see Mr. Harlan McFarlane. We don't have his room number. And the guy's like, 
Candyland Escorts. I know. <laughs> it gets better, Kevin. Right to your room. <laughs> so we go to we go to this room. This is just the beginning of it, Kevin. We go to the room and we open the door and the room is covered in plastic. Like the entire room is coated in plastic. It's Dexter. <laughs> and I'm not only is it coated in plastic, but he has these huge trunks that he had helped. Somebody from downstairs brought up and it said flesh and fantasy all over it. And so I'm like, oh my god, I'm going into this hotel room with my little sister with a duffel bag. And it's a plastic covered room. Monday night's nose. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I don't know this it, it gets better, Kevin. <laughs> then I have to get my ears fit. And in order to get your ears fit, you can't have your hair exposed or anything. So they wrap my, he, first of all, he says, well, you might have to have a shower after this. I'm like, I don't know, okay. He puts a tub of Vaseline on my head. So like, he wraps the Vaseline all over because the stuff gets stuck in your hair. And then he saran wraps my head, like all around here, and then does the casting of my ear. And I'm sitting here with like Vaseline covered head in a plastic room, watching like, Jerry Springer, some <laughs> undirectable television. I'm like, what am I doing? And my sister Heather is like, <laughs> she's laughing at me. Um, and then the next thing they have to do is take photos to show exactly the placement of the ear. So they have a Polaroid camera, of course, and they run out of film. So they have to call the front desk. <laughs> deliver that Polaroid film? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, what have I got myself? When I have Vaseline in my hair, and the room is covered in plastic, and I still have to leave this hotel with an ounce of integrity, not to mention the fact that they didn't just have to mold my ears, they had to mold my tail. <laughs> Yes, poor Harlow. Thank God he was married and <coughs> had an ounce of decency. I had underwear on, but I'll tell you, I was just mortified. I was standing in the bathtub. The and they took a mold of my behind. <laughs> <laughs> that I want to sell on eBay. No! <laughs> it's for the kids. <laughs> and I'll tell you, ladies, it gets bigger when they take the mold off. I swear to God. <laughs> And I'm just like, my sister's like, thank you. She takes the Polaroid camera and takes the film and we finish. And I just remember going down the elevator and my Vaseline covered <laughs> hair in my sweatpants. And there was a line of those people plastic waiting sticking in me. Plastic Bye. sticking in your butt? No, nope. I was fully clothed. But um, there were several people seeing us off into the cab. That was my introduction to my job. <laughs> that one is a good one. Thank you guys very, very much.